Let's go to that Cromwell family who say unaffordable rental accommodation in the town has forced them to live in a tent. Despite both having jobs, Larissa Patchett and her partner have been living in a tent in her parents' backyard with their three children since Christmas because they can't any longer afford to rent a house there. Rents have gone up so far. Last night we brought you a story about the town's accommodation crisis where the average house price in the central Otago community has risen to half a million dollars. As house prices rise, rents rise of course, and as house prices rise, investors enter the market, driving prices up further. That has been happening in Cromwell. I asked Larissa what she would need to pay to rent a house there now. Four fifty, five hundred. So, a week. so, so five hundred dollars a week. Yeah, uh, it, it is twenty-five grand a year after tax. Yeah. And, and what are you earning between the two of you? Um, my partner works full time, and I work part time. Um, well, basically, also the fact is that, yes, we probably could pay $500 a week, but at the other end of it, we've got power and you've got groceries on top of that and living expenses. We, and also, yes, it's summer at the moment. Everyone's got good hours at the moment. In the middle of winter, when it's snowing and people can't get to work, then your hours drop. Right, so, you're t- drop. so, you, so you are absolutely casual. You get paid by the hour. Yes, by the bus. Both you, so you're both working yeah. as yeah. casual workers, and and what are you earning an hour? I'm on minimum wage. And what's your partner on? Uh, about twenty three. So you're on minimum, he's on twenty three, but it's casual work. You have to work to get paid. Yeah. And so, so you're living with your parents. Is there enough room in your parents' home for? for Not for, really. So, so it means there's seven of us. And. We're, we're outside in the tent, it's, and it's fine in the summer. Wait, wait a sec, sorry, you're sleeping in a tent? Yes. Right, but what we know about Central is that it gets bitterly cold there over winter, right? Yeah, and it's starting to get colder. Yeah, cold it's, nights. No, yeah. So, so, so... We're quite happy to pay, you know, 400 in rent, and we can do that, but it's fine doing somewhere. And they also get the whole, you know, people buying houses for rentals, well, the price of houses have gone up, so they have to put the rent up to keep, you know, within their their budget as well. Right, so people are buying investment properties and renting them out. Yeah, but, you know, the price of those have gone up hugely, and so, and so, so their we, prices, you know, the rent prices go up with it. So you went to Cromwell for the work, you and your partner, right? So because yeah, nine work, years ago. Yeah, right. And what were you paying when you first arrived, roughly? 350. How much? 350. Right. And so at three fifty, you've got a place and you're having a reasonable quality of life. At five hundred dollars, you simply aren't going to make ends meet. Yeah, pretty much. And who's in the tent? You and your partner, or the kids? All of us. All of you are sleeping in a tent. Mm-hmm. What? Why? Because we can't get a window. <laughs> it's a small house, and we are probably going to end up looking at leaving Cromwell. What about Housing New Zealand? Have you spoken to them? Yes, I have, and we earn too much. How much too much do you earn? $13 too much. Well, $13 a week too much? Mm-hmm. So... Roughly. That, right. Roughly between 13 and 20 too much. So you can't get into a Housing New Zealand house and you can't afford... No. So you're living in a tent with your parents? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, so what's your sense of 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 what you can do Larissa to make your life better I mean do you do, do you feel overwhelmed by this sometimes oh, very much so very much so very much so you know the kids have got friends here and we've got friends here and you know we've got family here and we you know Cromwell's a really good place to raise children lovely place to raise children but, but with a job and a half between the two of you, you can't afford to live there. No. And I always think that, you know, there's someone out there worse off than us. What would you like to say to politicians in Wellington about your life? Just have a look. Just come and have a look. And you know, see what we can do. Work as a team. That's what Cromwell's about. Larissa Patchett, so the work's in Cromwell, lots of seasonal work and lots of good horticultural work, but the rent prices are being driven up beyond 
the accessibility of the people who are doing that work. Queenstown, which is about 45 minutes, drive away is even more expensive. What do people do? Do they stay for the work or do they leave for the cheaper accommodation?